Okay, and here we are in part two of this series, and I will probably have a third video which shows some of the product selection criteria that you need to look at. Anyways, uh, what this page shows is basically where we're going to end up, which is the fulfillment by Amazon revenue calculator, which is part of their services through their FBA program. So it has all these variables. Before we go there, let me do a brief recap of what we went through yesterday. Okay, yesterday in the part one, basically capture all the information we can about the supplier, the, the people that we're dealing with, but more importantly, all the specifics we can about the product itself, its packaging, what it looks like, the logos, labeling, the shipping box dimensions and weight, then on how to get it here, example, how to get this samples here, which is normally express, then how to ship the actual product in volume, from China to here, and here meaning our home office here first, and the reason we're doing that is we're not drop shipping yet because we have not established a, a confidence level with the other side yet where we would allow them to drop ship, and a lot of happens in the shipment itself. Anyhow, but the UPS, FedEx, air freight options, etc. Then some of the other issues or some of the other points like the product handling which we need to capture who will put on the branding and the logo the labeling if we were to do air cargo is going to pick it up from the terminal but here we really are prepping the shipment which we received from china and it's going to go to amazon fba so before we start calculating all the profitabilities, etc. we need to establish what the price point of our product is going to be. Okay, so let's go to Amazon, and I am going to go to the product that we basically duplicate with ours. In fact, it's basically the same product, if, if not the same. 10 pieces, and they retail, or, or they're selling it on Amazon for $19.99, and you find the write-ups and everything, and the reason I found that is it has this identifier, which I showed in the sheet yesterday, and this is the Amazon standard identifying number. It's a 10, it's a 10 digit number, and, and all products, all Amazon listings have that look for this and you will use it in future calculations etc but let's go down here a little bit okay and down here going a little bit further down we have a chart and this chart shows up automatically if you have a extension on your google chrome browser which is the browser i would recommend anyhow and this shows you a lot of stuff including the price point and and also the ranking, which is very important. And you need to pay attention to stuff like this. Like you really want a product that ranks below 5,000 or you want your product to rank below 5,000. And also, I, I don't see any bumps and which we're going to go through a little bit later. So I don't know how the sales are doing on this. So let's go down a little bit further and it will show you some other examples or sponsored products that are related. Now, here's a close one, okay? It does not have the silicon handles, but it's priced at $15.99. Let's look at some of this stuff on there. Hmm, product ranking is a little bit better. It's 1300 and some. Basically, the price point has stayed even. Now, I'm going to go into Amazon and just do a search for measuring cups and spoons. And here we are. If you look here, there are quite a bit of selections and has combinations. And I wanted to go back to the first item we looked at, which is this one. And some of the other combinations you will see here, like this is $23.99 and it includes the set plus spatulas. In other words, it's a bundle. Okay, and uh, let's see what this is okay 23.99 let's see what the ranking is it looks like the 
ranking is not that good, but they looks like they have sales. And one of the reasons may be it's just the price point. And that's something we have to look at. And there's quite a bit more to marketing this other than just the price point. But my suggestion would be that you would probably want to be at the same price or lower than this guy, which is marketed by Royal Classic. And you can press on this and you will find all the products that these guys sell. And that's exactly the way that ours and yours will come up on Amazon when you have your product on there. Okay, now, so once we have established a price point, then let's say we're, we're going to charge $17.99 instead of $19.99. What we would do is we go to Amazon, the fulfillment by Amazon. First of all, you need to enter the, what they call the ASIN number, which we had captured before. Here are the items you will find in this calculator. And here, let me show you the, let me show you the URL. Here's the total URL. Okay. Now, what you would end here, what you would enter is the 1799. And here, this is if you were to fulfillment rather than having Amazon fulfillment. So, but you can include some of the costs which you incur by receiving the product and reshipping it to Amazon. You can enter these here and then you hit the calculate and you get this nice chart as to what the actual cost is, what's your total revenue is and your margin impact. And Amazon then lists all of their costs. In other words, how much it is costing you to use the Amazon FBA. And here it is. And the total cost for, for using the Amazon FBA is, is $4.04, which is great. And this is a fantastic calculator because right here you can determine what your overall costs are. And if we go back to the chart we had previously, here's the cost I entered it. So, so you can do a gross estimate, but, but by going to the Amazon FBA, you get this result and you will also find out or or you can include what some of your other other costs associated are. Once you have all of your costs, then you can really determine what your profitability is and you can begin tweaking all of these. In other words, your shipping costs, you look for alternatives, etc. So okay, this is going to end the second part of this series. And in the next video, I'm going to go through some of the key points of selecting a product that you may want to market, some of the parameters that are very important. It's not going to be the end all because there's so many variables that go into it, but it gives you a starting point. So until the next time, bye.